topic we're going to be talking about is cleaning the classroom. So I know that at the beginning of every school year, especially in elementary school, we have a school list of supplies that we're supposed to bring in and they like for us to bring in wipes of some sort and I'm sure you guys are constantly wiping stuff down at school just to kind of keep down on the germs that kind of um, that kids tend to bring in and just being in that closed environment. You know, live, our indoors are very poorly ventilated. They're, I mean, inside is known to be one of the most toxic places. Our homes, the schools, it's just very poorly ventilated. Very little do we open our windows. And so what we clean with has a really big impact on what our environment is like. So in the classroom, cleaning with um, chemicals that are in like Clorox, Pine Sol, bleach, whatever you're using, um, are super, super toxic. Many of them are hormone disrupting, neurotoxic, they're known carcinogenic, carcinogenins. They I mean cancer causing ingredients. They are so there's so many things in our cleaning products that are just super bad for us. And so little minds in a classroom trying to learn, um, I just don't think the two go together, right? So there is a better option. Thieves Cleaner. If you have not heard of Thieves Cleaner, it's plant-based, 100% safe, not only for your um, the kids, it's safe for the pets, um, your kids can clean with you. Um, so I know at schools they try to incorporate, especially in my daughter's preschool, you know, they either just making sure they're wiping up and, you know, using their hand sanitizer and washing their hands and, like I said, trying to cut down on germs. And so they can actually help clean with all of these things. You don't have to worry about any of the toxins. You don't have to worry about little hands touching those things um, after you clean and wipe down their, their desks or their tables or their chairs or whatever that they have. And so it's really great. You can, I use this at home even to clean toys. Um, you know, I just put a whole bunch of toys, like she, my little girl has toys that are um, kitchen toys, like, you know, for her kitchen set, so lots of plastic foods and stuff like that, and so I will put Thieves Cleaner in the sink, and I will throw all of that stuff in there, and I will let it soak for about five minutes or so, and then I rinse it off and let it out to dry. You can use it for that, completely safe for that, and like I said, it's completely non-toxic, so it's a much better choice than using the toxic cleaners that we have on the market. It's super cost effective, super cost effective. So Thieves Cleaner, th this bottle may not seem very big to you, but it's a concentrate. So you take it and you put it into a separate container. So you will get almost 30 spray bottles out of this one bottle of Thieves Cleaner. It's super cost effective. So use it at home, use it in the classroom, and like I said, you wanna transfer this into another bottle. So something like this, this spray bottle right here. Um, you can buy these on Amazon. And so that's what you could use to spray down the furniture. And then Thieves um, Hand Sanitizer. So I have the little one here, the travel size one. They do have one that has a pump on the top, which would be really great for a classroom. Um, hand sanitizers are super toxic too. There's so much crap in those. And so Young Living gives us an option to have, it's called Thieves Hand Purifier. <clears throat> and so we keep these, I like to throw these, um, and my oldest daughter, when she was in school, I used to throw these in her lunchbox so that she had it during lunchtime. And so for you teachers, it would be really great for you to stick in your purse or keep in your desk and then the pump even out for kids to use versus the others that are on the market that really aren't the greatest. So if you have questions about any of these products that I've been talking about so far, feel free to comment. I would love feedback from you guys. So we have one more topic to talk about, all about teacher needs, because we know that teachers have needs, right? So I will be back shortly with that one.